The beautiful sandwich is what this fine country was built upon. But sometimes it's difficult to find inspiration for what to put inside that sandwich. So we're going to take three classic sandwich fillings and make them amazing. First up, the sandwich to end all sandwiches, the ham and cheese sandwich. How can we make this better? Let me tell you. For this sandwich filling, you're going to need some of the best bread that you love the most, some butter, English mustard, mayonnaise, pick a lily, an apple, little gem lettuce, some roast ham and mature cheddar cheese. First up, we're going to spread the butter, mayo and English mustard on our bread. Next up is our pickle lily. Now this is an Indian spiced English pickle. If you can't get hold of this, use any pickle you can get your hands on. It does a very similar job. We're going to take this to the next level by dicing some apple and putting it through it. Then, for our little gem. Time for our ham. Now this is a honey roasted ham. If you have any honey roasted ham, maybe Vietnamese style, uh, that you've got left over from week one of Fridge Cam, uh, then that's probably great to use. If not, get your hands on the best ham, ham, hands that you can ham. And obviously, the best bit of any sandwich, mature cheddar cheese. And obviously the last bit for a sandwich, the top. Don't believe any of the BS that an open sandwich is actually a sandwich. It's not, that's just something on bread. And like any good sandwich that you make for yourself at home, you don't have to cut it. Just serve it whole like that. There we have it. That is a ham and cheese pickle sandwich sorted. The tuna mayonnaise sandwich is an absolute classic and when done properly can improve any situation much like this cardigan. So to nail this classic you're going to need some amazing bread of your choice, unbelievably celery, tuna in water not brine, lemon, mayonnaise, butter and watercress. So to start off we're going to dice our celery and then mix it in a bowl with mayonnaise, the zest of lemon and the juice of the same lemon. Something important to consider, you need to make sure that your celery dice is really finely diced. Now I have a history with celery and it wasn't a positive relationship, so that is why you want to keep it nice and fine, but it does add to the overall robustness and deliciousness of this flavour. Now moving on, I've drained my tuna, so now that also goes into my mix. Now the really important aspect of this is seasoning. Now we've already added the lemon juice and zest, so we've seasoned it slightly, but we want to add little bits of salt and pepper. Our butter that we're going to spread on our bread is also salted, and you want to make sure that all of those flavours are really well balanced and it's amplified and making the sandwich better. Don't scrimp on the edges. Finally, the crown goes on top of the royalty and then cut with a serrated knife down the middle. Don't put too much pressure because there's nothing worse than squashing down on sandwich and ruining the bread. And there you have it, a gourmet classic, the tuna mayo sandwich. Now, I don't know about you, but I feel like any sandwiches get a bad rep. They're always the sandwich left over at a sandwich platter. Well, I'm gonna show you how to make egg sandwiches great again. For this, you'll need four eggs, some French mustard, mayonnaise, cayenne pepper, more vinegar, butter, and some cress. And of course, the sexiest piece of bread you can find. We are going for a big white loaf. First up, get your eggs into rapidly boiling water and get them in there for seven minutes, exactly. After that, bring them out, put them into cold water, and let them rest there for about five. Now to peel your eggs, you wanna chop them up, Get them in a bowl with some mayonnaise, some mustard and some cayenne pepper and a little dribble of milk vinegar. Now no eggy sandwich is complete without some cress, so you want to give your little bush a haircut. Short back and side, sir. You then want to season this to taste. Let me check. Bagging. Now it's time to make a sandwich. You know how this goes. Bread, slice, butter, construct, done. Get your lid on, 
diagonal slice. Look at that. And that is your Eggy and Cress super spicy, I don't know if it's meant to be spicy, but it's quite a spicy sandwich, sorted. Three sand, which one will be the best? Who knows? Because we haven't tried them yet. Here's a serrated blade. Okay. Give, give us a slither off the end. Pick a lily is next level. Pick a lily is delicious. Yeah. Very balanced, mm -hmm. very classic, but very well done. I've got a funny feeling I made that quite spicy. <laughs> okay, let's go here first. Go, go tuna. Right, brace yourself. Good, isn't it? That was a fresh hit. Yeah. Mega yeah. fresh. Zesty mm. and juicy. Usually when the tuna soaks into the bread, it's a bit minging. Mm. But because it's so fresh. Egg, may you cut that up. Now already, I'm enjoying the bread. <laughs> oh. Right, ready? That's got dimensions. That is no normal egg sandwich. Oh. That is really <laughs> <laughs> If you're going to replicate this exact recipe, maybe go for a pinch mm -hmm. of cayenne pepper like mm. it says in the recipe. Yeah. Not. I freestyled it. You freestyled yeah. it. I regret that. I didn't think you could improve upon egg mayo, mm -hmm. but giving it a bit of a kick mm -hmm. actually does take it somewhere else. I'm yeah, a big fan of that. A punch, a kick. It's such a violent sandwich, but it's delicious. Good job. Good job. Good, great job. Good, job. Good job. Good job. Three awesome sandwiches. If you want to get the recipes for all of these, you can get them in the link downstairs. Now, on to Friday, sausage pasty recipe coming your way. And then fast forward to Sunday, we have a lunchbox battle. Now that isn't a comparison of sizes. That <laughs> is us having to create the ultimate lunchboxes and Ben's going to judge them. Still, that clarification didn't really... Doesn't no, it doesn't help. help. No, 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 not at all. But anyway, watch it, Sunday. Click on the left if you missed our last video or click on the right video for one of our favourites.